Sam massages his neck tenderly and releases a heavy sigh. Your hands itch to help him release some of that tension to stroke him to touch him. Girl, are you looking at his neck or somewhere else? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are back with the next part of the choices drama in The Nanny Affair. If you have not seen the last one, go check it out. I'll link a little card around here somewhere. So our girl, she's the nanny, you know, she's flirting with her boss. Well, tragedy struck and her boss is engaged. I know, I know, messy, but you know what? The game is called Choices, and Jennifer is making her own choices. Who am I to stop her? We are just egging her along. But so this fiance came over as we're having a cute birthday dinner for him, and she walks in and throws her coat at us. I don't think so. So we got to take care of the trash, aka her. So I hope you guys are excited. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. You watch as Sam's fiance sweeps into the penthouse like she owns the place. Not for long, sweaty. Mm, we're gonna take care of her. Uh, come in. I'm Sophia Russo, Russo Industries. As the new maid, you'll probably be seeing me here a lot, and... I'm not a maid. I'm Jennifer Martinez, the boy's nanny. We're not a maid, we're the nanny. Like... And whether we are the maid or not, you don't treat someone like that. You just don't. Oh, well, in any case. Sophia gives you a meaningful look, clearly expecting you to get out of her way. Uh, let me take you to Sam and the boys. Oh, or it's weird Sam didn't invite you to his birthday dinner. Just be scandalous, girl. I'm sure he would have if he'd known I was in town. He didn't call and check? Not that it's any of your business, but we talked last night. I just hadn't decided to come back yet. Oh, interesting. Right, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. You did, but I understand. Someone like you can't help but uh, be interested in the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Well, sweetie, rich, yes, famous for all the wrong reasons. Sophia pushes her way past you, heading straight for the dining room. I wonder what Sam's reaction is going to be. Sophia, what are you doing here? Happy birthday. Sophia greets Sam with a kiss on the cheek, then she offers him a small velvet box. Platinum cufflinks, thank you, they're wonderful. And boring, Sam already has like a million of those. True, we cooked him a home-cooked meal with our hearts. Only the best for my boo bear. Sophia reaches out and tussles Mason's hair. He stiffens in his chair. Oh, Emma and M don't like her. Aren't you happy to see me, Mickey? I brought presents for you boys too. I'm Mason. That's what I said. How would you like a new watch? It's Armani. Girl, you can't buy love. I got a matching one for you too, Mickey. Thanks, just what I always wanted. You have good taste. He does, you don't. Has she ever been around kids before? What a thoughtful gift, Sophia. Armani timepieces might be a little mature for them, but that's something we can discuss later. You're never too young to become a style icon. I mean, you know what? That is true. I'll give her like that. Sophia moves to sit in the open chair your seat when she notices you still standing there. Well, aren't you going to clean up the dishes? Uh, I'm here for the kids. Honey, cleaning the house isn't part of my job description. Oh, in that case, you're dismissed. Sophia, you can't just... Oh, Sam, you'll never guess who was in my first class with me on my flights. Talk to Chrissy Teigen. Can you believe it? Now there's a style icon. She's... Sam tries to cut in again, but Sophia talks right over him. He shoots you an apologetic look. I'm sorry. I, I mean, whatever. At least, I mean, I, honestly, I don't think that's good enough. But it's his birthday, so we'll let it slide. But if this happens again... Trust me. Trust Sam. Mm. Sophia's still yammering as you start to back toward the door. Good night, everyone. I can't believe we return to our room and plop on your bed so unsure what just happened. You pull out your phone and text the one friend you know who'll understand. I can't believe this girl walks in here like she owns the place and treats her like that. It, you know, you, mm, 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 I don't care who, you just don't treat people like that. You just don't. 
So, Miss Sophia, we are about to take care of her. What? She dropped an unannounced during Sam's B-Day dinner. She's a f- such a she's such a spoiled brat, to be honest. You should have seen the way she was treating everyone. She literally called me to help. Gross. What did Sam say? Nothing. Excuse me? He tried. But, you know, he I mean honest, let's be real, he didn't try hard enough. That's there's no excuse for that BS. Seriously, WTF. You know, a knock on the door pries you away from the phone screen. If it's Sophie with dry cleaning or something, I swear I'm not accountable for my actions. If this girl, I hope it's her. I hope she pretends it's dry cleaning because we will take her fancy ass clothes, open the window, and chuck them. Actually, we'll hide them and donate them. That's a better option. You open the door to find... Sam, look who it is. Jennifer. Sam is standing in your doorway, shirt and button and chest, bare, looking tired and disheveled, and yet still somehow so incredibly sexy. Is he, though? Sam, hey, is everything okay? Can we talk? Sophia's gone and the boys are down for the night. I was about to go to bed, actually. It won't take long. I just need to apologize for what just happened. Sam massages his neck tenderly and releases a heavy sigh. Your hands itch to help him release some of that tension as stroke him to touch him. Girl, are you looking at his neck or somewhere else? His gaze meets yours pleading with you. Bitch, we are pleading at you too. But I didn't see you doing anything. Please, I don't like how we left things back there. But let's see him into your room to hear his apology and spend time on his birthday. Um, I don't think so. Bye bye. Mm-mm, I'm too tired to talk tonight. Okay, just know that I'm so sorry for the way Sophia talked to you. That's nice, Sam. We've had several talks about the way the treat- she treats others, and we-, we just finished having another one before she left. Well, it's clear there's multiple. Multiple, and they're not working. So, but Sophia said, I am sorry for everything. You give him a long lurk because you're sure everything entails a hell of a lot more than just tonight's drama. Finally, you nod. You know what? Duly noted. Good night, Sam. Let's just end this night. Good night, Jennifer. This night needs to be over. New us, new fresh day, new Sam. We're going to begin again. It's a fresh day, and we are going to crumple his clothes on a bed. So the next morning, he finds Sophia taking up your usual spot. Oh, she's still here? Baking something in the oven from the smell of things. She doesn't have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I thought she left. Sophia, I didn't hear you come in. If you're looking for Sam, I think you already left for work. Actually, I'm here for the twins. I hope you like goat cheese because... Oh, I may... Oh. Yum. Mason and Mickey trundle into the kitchen behind you, still half asleep. What's that smell? I think it's coming from Sophia. Good morning, boys. I am taking you two out for some stepmommy twins bonding time today. After we have a nutritious homemade breakfast, of course. You decide not to mention the cardboard box of frozen breakfast keys just stuffed in the trash can. And don't think I forgot about you, Jennifer. You get to spend the day helping Robin plan the engagement party. Is that the thing Dad was telling us about the night? What? Okay. From what we know of Sam, let's chat real fast. Let's chat. This has to be an arranged marriage. This has to be. You're telling me that Sam is very nice and he seems like a good, a decent person, you know. And he's marrying Sophia? I just don't see it. I don't see it. There's got to be something else at stake here. Whether it's being forced by companies or something. Because if he actually picked this... Sam, but we'll see. Yeah, Aunt Sophia won't just be our aunt anymore. Oh, dear. That's exactly right, boys. Your father and I are going to make our official debut to the world as an engaged couple. And Jennifer, we need to make sure everything is just right for the party. Uh, let me think about it. Spend the day with Robin, you say? Just, there are worse ways to pass the time. Yeah, and I think we're going to find that out the hard way. I wouldn't get too comfortable around Robin, Jennifer. A word to the wise. He's a total player. Who says we aren't playing the same game? Well, I... The oven dings and Sophia hurries to remove the quiches. She ignores you and smiles at the twins. Let's dig in and get dressed for the best day ever. Oh, she is so phony. Yay. <laughs> Yay. After forcing down, you take the subway to Dalton Enterprises to meet Robin. 
Okay, so let's go chit chat with Rob and Jennifer. It's a delight to see, delightful to see you again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get this over with. We'll just—he hasn't tried us yet. The minute he tries us, though, it's over for him. But we'll be nice. It's good to see you too. If we're gonna have to plan a fancy party, at least we can have a little fun doing it. You took the words right out of my mouth. I usually have to do all the fact he's a player is kind of shocking to me, but you know what? Maybe I can see it. It's like I can't see it, but I can see it. I said, okay, whatever. You have to do it, but okay, drown together at the shirt. You're really not trying to sell this, huh? Come on, Jennifer. I thought we could be honest with each other. Let's go get our hands dirty. Robin leads you into his office, and the two of you get to work. Here is Sophia's list for us. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh. Oh my. Please tell me this is some kind of sick joke. Even I'm not this funny. I don't know why she bothers asking for help if she's going to micromanage like this. Entree suggestions. Decoration do's and don'ts. At this point, just do it yourself, Sophia. You clearly have the minds for this. So just do it. Party games that highlight not only Russo's and Dalton's as companies, but also as a co- Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. This is, there's something seriously wrong, to be honest. When didn't you even have time to do all this? I'm pretty sure vampires don't sleep. I wouldn't be surprised. Ready to wade through the appetizers. Robin passes you yet another list. It's all deconstructed fancy stuff. Aren't there going to be kids at this thing? Kids have never been Sophia's strength. Well, we found out this morning. Well, I say we try the spinach stuffed olives. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. We compare it with the car. Okay, well, whatever that stuff is. At least Sophia will be happy. And that's what this party's all about. Appetizers, check. What's next? Okay, so let's get this. A few hours later, Robin hangs up the phone after bargaining with an antiques dealer over the chandelier Sophia apparently has to have at the party. I think that's actually everything. Drinks? You grin as Robin moves to the cart in the corner of his office, casually pouring two glasses. All right, this is the big moment of truth. We've been working fine with Robin so far, but is this going to get a little too much? Are we going to have to pull out some pepper spray? I don't know yet. I have to say I'm pretty impressed by the way you tackled everything. When we first met, I figured you were. Just a party boy? Can you blame me? I know Sam introduced me as his assistant, but my actual title is Deputy Chief Operating Officer. It's a little more complicated than taking messages and scheduling meetings. Uh, there are days Sam and I don't even see each other. Or our father, for that matter. Our father? I thought you were just unofficial siblings. Oh, we're finding tea out. I live with the Daltons throughout middle and high school. They practically adopted me. All that was missing was the paperwork. Robin seems suddenly preoccupied with his drink, trying to act a little too casual. Sam always had everything handed him growing up, no questions asked. The important job, the cute kids, the fancy fiancé. But me? I've had to work for everything and it's still not enough. I'm right behind him though. It's a close call which one of us will win in the end. Do I sense a little sibling rivalry here? Of course not. I wouldn't be here at all if it weren't for him. I'm sure he's going to award, be awarded the position of CEO after dad and he's going to marry Sophia. It's practically a done deal. I'm just next in line in case he totally Fs it up. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's just too bad Sam and Sophia. Never mind. Oh. Oh, you can't leave us hanging. Oh, we need to find out this. Ask, ask him. We gotta find out this situation here. It's too bad about Sam and Sophia. What? I probably shouldn't be airing all our dirty laundry in front of a complete stranger. No, 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 it's fine. Hanging up on the clothesline. It's, we are okay with this. I'm not a stranger. I am basically part of the family. If Sophia's going to be a permanent part of Sam's life, well, that affects me too. You're right about that. Their engagement has a lot more to do with business than love. It's basically an arranged marriage. Okay. Okay. So now we know. An arranged marriage, that makes a lot more sense. Because they I just couldn't figure out what Sam could possibly see in Sophia. I mean, she is beautiful, wealthy, and smart. The fact that she's also a real piece of work. Okay, our dad, he's what you might call conservative. He won't step down as CEO until Sam marries Sophie and merges the empires. Like, why does he care? Seriously? I know, right? To be fair, Dalton Enterprises plus Russo Industries is a heady combination, much like the Scott. Scott, whatever. Robin takes a sip from his drink. Still. 
Oh, you're not wrong about it being backwards as hell, but Dad thinks having a wife and kids will help cement a man in his life. And the fact that Sam already had both those things? Utterly beside the point. Deep down, I think Dad does want Sam to be happy, but he's a my way or the highway sort of guy. Uh, your dad sounds kind of like... I mean, I'm just going to be nice to his face, but he's totally misguided and outdated, but I can see where he's coming from. I hope Sam finds someone too, but only if it's you. It's, oh, don't call us out like this, Robin. We, we've been nice to you. Uh, no, only when he's ready. Oh my gosh. Robin shrugs. Fact of the matter is Sam already married for love once and he told me he doesn't think lightning strikes the same place twice. He doesn't think he'll ever find love again. Pretty much explains the what the hell sentiment behind this whole thing, if you ask me. You shake your head surprised at the pain in your chest at Robin's words. Poor Sam. Sophia's not so bad. If you have to settle down, why not settle with the rich, beautiful robot? Oh, then you do it. Fair point. But Sophia is... Girl, she's nothing compared to me. <laughs> I'm beautiful, smart, go with the twins, funny, down to earth, check, and humble. Well, you mean confident. Robin gives you a long, unreadable look. Anyway, Sophia doesn't care. She and Sam want the same thing to advance in their companies. What do you mean, is Sophia going to be CEO of Russo Industries too? According to her father, absolutely not. But he'll be hard-pressed to find a reasonable excuse if she manages to merge them with Dalton Enterprises and get the board's backing. You take a deep drink from your glass before asking your next question. Do you think they will last... The sleeping together is like, whatever. If they did, I don't really care. Sam's probably built for long-term commitment. I wouldn't be surprised if it lasted. Even though they aren't really in love? I mean, lots of married people aren't in love. I know Sam wouldn't want to put the boys through any more upheaval than they've already had in their lives. I put money in them being together until the twins go off to college, if not longer. Whew, you take another sip of your drink as you try to process everything you just learned. We learned a lot. Did I ever tell you about the time Sophia tried to order a pizza over the phone? It was hilarious. Oh my gosh, she asked if the caterers had been to Le Cordon Bleu if it was just the chef. Oh, the caterers. She meant the delivery drivers. Oh, we giggle. Crap, and we spilled the drink. Here, let me help you. Robin springs up and grabs a handful of napkins. I know this sounds, but the scene is less likely as said if you take your top off. Let's just be dramatic. Good idea. Let's make him shook. You quickly... Wi okay, we don't need help though, Robin. I can't believe that worked. Focus, please. I'm going to be pissed if I got half naked in front of you and it still stains my shirt. Oh! Oh no, I am... Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we gasped as Sam steps in the office. Oh no. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Sam. Oh, oops. Oops, that was messy of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't think the chapter was going to end right there. I thought it would have been a little like, mm -mm -mm moment. I mean, it was that moment, but Sam walked in. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I pick a messy option, and this is what happens. This is Jennifer's fault. I'm just kidding. It's mine. But oh, we're going to see what happens. Is Sam jealous? He's jealous. He's totally jealous. But so now we know officially it's an arranged marriage. And Sam likes us. We know he does. He just does. So we need to get Miss uh, was Sophia. I forgot her name for a second. Sophia Russo out of here. Kick her back out to her little own enterprises. And we are in here with our man. But let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts and opinions? What do you think is going to happen? No spoilers if you've read ahead. And of course, before we go, the shout outs. A special shout out to Living in Sky, Mrs. Crazy, and... Danielle Rowe, thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you, of course, to everyone. And I'm sorry if I butcher anybody's names. But thank you so much, everyone. It means the absolute world to me. I hope everyone is doing good. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. I'm